All right, men, are you ready to infiltrate Sector C? Yeah! I, I'm i missing one, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ringo. Come on, Ringo. Apparently, you're, you're the Ringo of our people. Come on, Ringo. I don't know why, I just felt like I needed to stay quiet there. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Kirby Star Allies. We're actually the data plan, not the Beatles. Although, you know, <laughs> three out of four. We, four might, of we might as well be the Beatles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so we may need to use some of these powers soon. We'll see. Yeah, uh, if we do, we can go back and respawn them. Oh, uh, water plus spark. Eh. I think that's just one of those, like, powered up attacks. It's just like, hey, you could do this. Or we could be Beatles. And kill everything. Also, I'm pretty sure electricity is more effective against these guys than you might expect. Yeah. I don't really care. I think ice works on them, too. Hmm. Uh, also, yeah, I know the um, flying with the spark Mennonite is... Or, sorry, wind Mennonite is... Only for Mennonite, I think. Unless, well, actually, I don't know if I've had a wind sword with Kirby, so that'd be an interesting thing to look into if we ever get the chance. <laughs> See if that's like a Mennonite. Oh, oh, oh shit! No, oh, come on! There's a bug in our house. Let's see, yeah, hide. Or in my apartment. You know what I'm trying to say. There's something flying in front of me. It's not in the video game. <laughs> Uh. Alright, um... Do you wanna go? Oh, okay, we're going. I, I don't think there was anything up there anyways, but... Probably not. Probably Unless not. we could go downward. No. Nah. Cause th this game isn't, you know, that smart. <laughs> oh boy, this isn't... Okay, I love how ridiculous we look <laughs> when we're flying through the air, even. But this time it's gonna get harder, so... We're just gonna just let you handle this. Probably a safe plan. We just become a clusterfuck of limbs. That's true. It's beautiful. Like, look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell what part anything in that. Like, you can't tell. Except for me. But you I'm can tell which one's Kirby, and other than that, it's just. It's evil just body parts. It's just chitin. It's just flying. Right. And now we're Beatles again. That, that, that was the segment. <laughs> We'll, we'll shield your soft, squishy pink body with our mighty beetle carapaces. <laughs> Ooh, staff. Too late. <laughs> so, he's in my jaws now. Oh, um, here. We can... Wait. No! There was another Got staff. It. Did you just tank through the things yes. instead of going around the right way? Yes, I did. Nice. <laughs> I wish I could have the same, you know, reckless abandon as you. Oh, wait! Oh, you can use that friend ability to destroy those gears. Alright, well, somebody's gonna have to do it. <laughs> okay, see, but we can. Alright, someone jump in. Oh. oh! Get it, get it, get it! <laughs> and now we leave? <laughs> Also, I, I'm gonna have to lower the audio for that segment. <laughs> we just totally brute forced that. Wait, no, the staff is there. No. Wait, maybe we can respond. <laughs> Are you saying we need friend abilities? Nonsense. No, we, we use friend abilities, just the wrong one. That's true. We use the fun one. <laughs> Um, here. You, 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 you guys need this after being idiots. <laughs> yeah. Let me give you kisses. Beetle kisses. Oh. Holy crap. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> it shouldn't have. It had no right to. It certainly didn't. See, what's kind of annoying though is if, if you're all beetles and none of you switch, we like never get elemental stuff. I can love that. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> if only I feel like only you can have elemental beetles. Oh my god. I think we just stun block them. <laughs> we basically do. <laughs> We're just bullying these poor things. <laughs> you, 
you just keep, if you just keep dashing into them, there's like nothing they can do. We just peck at them. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh yeah, you know it looks like we need it. So. I think I think we do. I'll 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 bite the bullet this time. It's been a while. Right. As much as it pains me. <laughs> Oh, there's Those are keys. keys, yeah. Oh, there are two keys, sorry. Right. I'll grab you another one. Yeah. Oh, look at all this food! Alright, well that was the thing. Yeah. That we have now completed. Man. <laughs> we'll, we'll come up to, uh place where we can become all beetles again eventually. That's true. It's just someone has to stay a beetle. Yeah. As long as one of us stays, we're good. I am the beetle, the destroyer of worlds. I like how the two of us with wings did the worst. What? Yeah, that's right. The two, the two things with wings flew the least. Yeah. I, I, it is, like, I get why. The wings have no bearing on that. It's because it'd be chill funny. Because it makes no real life logical sense. It what? just makes game logical sense. Well, you see, you know, the beetles are bipedal, okay? So to fly, they can't, like, go like a real beetle and do like this. Because the wings are on their back and they're facing, <coughs> stra they're facing Oops. straight out from the back. Whoops. So when they're flying upward, their extended wings actually increase the air resistance they're vulnerable to. Ergo, you fly short distances. QED. <laughs> I, ac I accidentally teleported away from this level, and I could have teleported <laughs> back, but eh. The yeah. Heavenly Hall. Alright, so uh, Phoenix Wright reference. You know what those silhouettes look like? It looks like a silhouette of the Desert Toads from Paper Mario 1. And guys, we did take a capture by accident, because <laughs> I was trying to hit the minus button. <laughs> Still have it. I haven't deleted but it yet. I, but do you know what I mean? Like the the ones in Dry Dry Outpost and everything. The toads with the like head wrap thing that I'm sure has a proper name that I'm really insensitive. Turban. To. Turban. Yeah. Like the it, the silhouette of these guys looks like the silhouette of one of those toads in a turban. Also, you guys are totally missing out on being able to ride your staff everywhere. It's actually really fun. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm sure it is, but, yeah. but we get to be beetles. We get to fly every We've already found the best power. Why would we experiment with... Ah, and Dallas gets to be a beetle again. No! Hey! <laughs> hey, look, a beetle. That's not a proper beetle. That, that is a false prophet. <laughs> it is a false prophet. <laughs> What's this one gonna be? Is it gonna be lightning? If you guess the electricity, you were right. We're only two thirds of three fourths of the Beatles. Oh. Bon, bon job. I am the Partisan, the eldest of the three generals of magic. At first, I thought you just to be a simpleton with a knack for annoyance. Now it is time. Now it is clear you are an interfering interloper. But I'm afraid your unwanted wanderings end here. By the will of our beloved liege, Lord Highness. Highness. Oh my god. Lord of Highness? Lord Highness. Official oh of Doom. I shall destroy you here and now. Lord Highness is like the least creative name for a ruler I have ever heard. Hey, how do I, how do, I do the fridge? Um, I don't know. I did it by accident once, so I don't know how I did it. Just uh, keep painting soldiers here. Just uh... <laughs> also nice uh, rising weapons there for people who actually know about Japanese guns. I'm, I'm just gonna slap him with my ponytail. <laughs> Swish. <laughs> Another painting for my cringe gallery. I 
feels so hollow. <laughs> Oh, Jean blasted. Bah! How could there be such opposition on a measly and remote planet like this? Well, it matters not. This Jean Bahat piece is already within my grasp. Listen here, you tiny ball of poofy pig mischief. For all I care, you and this Jean Bastion can rot in ruin forever. Hon hon, I get. <laughs> that actually had a voice clip on it. Shout bye bye. Now we're no, fine. We have to escape. How will we do this? Oh, there's a platform here. <laughs> oh, God. What? We're friend circling. We formed a, the beast with four backs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. Because it implies sex. Mm -hmm. right, please, I hadn't even please, thought about Please that. don't jump unnecessarily because we can fall in a pit and die. Oh, the beetle transformation pads. God, <laughs> if only we were all beetles, this would look amazing. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. Actually, yeah, it would be. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was apparently a bad place to take a break. <laughs> oh, my. oh, that was funny. I was, about, I was about to say, hey cousin, let's go bowling. <laughs> yes. Okay, Kirby looks real. That looks like it would be really uncomfortable. He's just really stretched, real tall in that ball form. Yeah, it, it really doesn't look good, does it? It's not even though some of these jumps is pretty precise, so don't jump early. Yeah, we're just we're just letting you handle handle that. Yeah, in cases like this, I've kind of learned that. When I vaguely know what I'm doing, and Red X definitely knows what he's doing, and both of us can jump, it's best to just let Red X jump, because 99% of the time, things just work out better that way. Also, giant yeah. sandcastle, man. Oh, yeah. I guess that is... yeah. Uh, also, it's convenient that they, those are segmented to signify exactly where they're going to fall. Very convenient. I like how they, I like, I like how they made this castle. That way, in case of, in case of invasion, the right. invader. You know, I didn't remember there being multiple. Uh, well, I really hope steppy, we don't. I can't think of anything to say other than Steppy Boys. What the fuck is wrong with me? What <laughs> has the boys. internet done steppy to me? Boys. What has the internet done to me? I meant the little platforms that spray out your powers. The blocky, yeah, the blocky boys. No, the Steppy Boys. The Steppy Boys. The Power Boys. The fact that that legitimately is the first thing that came to mind is a legitimate problem. I think, I think we gotta do like a real small hop there. I know what to do, I've done it before. Just messing up the timing. Yeah, let me, let me take a crack at it. It's not like we don't have a... Uh, yeah, to be fair, we do have 72 attempts. Oh, oh, I'm not floating, I thought I was. Oh, that's how that's how I do that. I just press up here to the fridge. Oh, okay. Uh this oh. seems Yeah. He'll be fine. Maybe. We need to go down so we won't yeah, so do bounces. this. Yeah. It's better there isn't like a time limit. That would make this like really stressful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. I guess it's. I guess the timing of that must be independent of the timing of. When you I, do your stack. Yeah, but what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm saying is spikes seem to be moving at all times. So you can't. You might get lucky and just having, exi go having a bridge that exists is good enough, damage. or you might have to be a little more creative about it. More, more of these. Well, 
I was just about to say, I feel like oh, we've goodness. done this before. Oh. Goodness. But this is actually something different than what we were just doing. It just happened to start on the same kind of platform. Dave Jean Boo. I'm not gonna lie, our projectiles in that look really wimpy. Despite the fact that we're kind of massive, I would expect them to be more impressive than that. Yeah, we're all big boys. Even I am. And I'm just, I'm just ours. Yeah, and, it's most and Kirby. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I was just looking at the fact that the tiniest person in the group had massive projectiles bigger than their actual character. And we had these little tiny... We, we were shooting Mega Man lemons. <laughs> like, they're even yellow. Yeah, you're right, they are. I thought that was, I thought that was like a, uh, a whip exclusive one, because it kind of looked like a sheriff's uh, star. No. Oh! I yeah. have no idea how that just happened to you. That should not... trapped underneath the platforms, I think. Oof. Oof. Might have switched control to me somehow? You would think yeah. that if you could get into the gap, that you could get out of it, though. But, I mean, that's not always how video games work. It's just how logic works. And as we all know, video games and logic don't always get along very well. That is very true. And that's not always a bad thing. It's just a thing. Uh, because, you know, you, you also, play... when all of our projectiles are yellow, I really can't tell if I'm doing well aiming or not. I can't tell which ones are mine or... Look, just... I can't even tell if I'm pressing the right button. <laughs> just just tr take credit for it. every hit. <laughs> like, man, I was we all did shot. it together. We've done this with the power of friend. Oh. I thought, I thought we were going to, like, drop there. Also, how do we find our way inside the Tetris? Kirby Tetris. Yo! <laughs> that was actually kind of close. That I bet that that's close. programmed yeah. to... There was no, almost it's... tension. <laughs> I bet that's like scripted and it's not as close as it looked. Or at least somewhat scripted. What if you just but stopped? But it still was stressful. What if you just stopped there and the platform above you just stopped? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a Sonic 06 way to handle it. Yes, it would. Sonic 06 loops. Far flung star like heroes. Before they knew it, they were in deep space. Looking back, they saw that planet pop star was but a tiny glimmer in the distance. Kirby and his friends are determined to, hopefully, protect the peace and tasty, ta tasty, what? tasty nap times Taste of, that? of their beloved home. Now, <coughs> up. Wait, hold on. Now, of their beloved home. Now. Become a shining star and fly. No, and fly! Oh, and fly. Fly! Fly. You have to be loud about it. Fly! It's all caps. I'm not, not loud enough to, to piss off the neighbors. <laughs> loud enough to emphasize it, not loud enough to piss off the neighbors. Find the sweet spot. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I just gotta. And then fly! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta find the sweet spot. Is it just me, or does it look like the yellow guy is just eating the star with the way his mouth is placed? Yeah, kind of. Or the blue one. Honestly, the angle's not right on the blue one. He's just kind of, like, staring off into space. He's got that thousand-yard <laughs> stare. That yeah. thousand-light-year stare. He, rem he remembers the Great Fly Swarm Massacre. Alright, so, uh, do you want to... Check out the next world? Yeah, let, let's save our tasty or nap times. Next episode. Alright, I next guess. Episode, all right. That'll be our cliffhanger for the day. Next episode, we get to see the thing that you're probably seeing images that resemble. In. Uh, that's too many words for me to bother reading right now. I could do it, but I don't want to. Tasty nap times? Yeah, I, that's just confusing me. Yeah. Like, how? I mean, a, a good nap can certainly be delectable, but I wouldn't <laughs> describe it as tasty. It tastes, anything being tasty and anything involving naps should be very much separate events. Yeah, because if you eat, you get energy. Also, actually, you know what? Kirby's on Ambien. He's <laughs> eating in his sleep. That's, there we go. Yep. Mystery he even solved. Had, he even has two nightcaps on. <laughs>